Essential Math Skills in A-Level Biology with Dr. Biology. Hi, it's Dr. Biology here and this is Essential Math Skills for A-Level Biology and I'm going to be looking at ratios today. So first of all, ratios. Well, let's look at uh, how we work them out. So we need to easily compare separate quantities so we can examine patterns, comment on the relationship, or use ratios to help us solve equations. So here's an example here. So I've got two blue squares and eight triangles. So I could show that as a ratio of two to eight. And I can simplify that down further to one to four. So there are certain rules. So, so I'm going to teach you two rules about ratios and uh, to look out for in exam questions. Then I'm going to go through some exam questions with you. So rule one, write a ratio in the simplest form. So you can see x colon y. So a colon separates one quantity from another. And x and y stands for the quantities of each thing. So here's a little um, problem. So what is the ratio of green pea pods to yellow pea pods in the offspring? So this is a nice little Punnett square um, looking at uh, G, uh, capital G is dominant, lowercase g is recessive. So let's have a look. So green pods, so put the numbers into a ratio. So count up all the possible genotypes for green and yellow pods. So I'll let you do that now. And so we've got two green and two yellow. So that would be shown as two to two. And we can further simplify it down. And I'll move myself out of the way. So we can further simplify that down. So divide each side by the same number until you reach the smallest whole number possible on one side. So in this case, it would be one to one. OK, here's another um, example. So what is the ratio of purple flowers to white flowers in the offspring? So number one, put the numbers into a ratio. So count up all the possible genotypes for purple and white flowers. So here we go. So purple is three and white there's one. So three to one. Simplify the ratio. Well, you can't simplify it any further. It's already in the simplest form. Right, rule two, some ratios don't simplify easily. So either the first or second number will be simplified to one, the other number will become a decimal. So here's a good example. So here we've got a table and it shows the body mass index data for males and females in two cities. Those with a BMI of over 30 are considered obese. And then the question says, calculate the ratio of obese males to obese females in city A. Give your answer in the form of 1 to N. Now, the first thing to notice is that they have converted them into percentages. But remember, if you're comparing results from groups that aren't the same size, make sure the numbers have been turned into percentages first so you can make a comparison. So let's look at the data. Well, we need to look at the over 30. OK. So we need to look at obese males to obese females in city A. So that will be that one. Now notice females comes before males, but we need to know males to obese male uh, females. So 23 to 24, but it needs to be simplified. So the way you're going to do that is simplify the first number to one. So that's dead easy. It's 23 divided by 23, which is one. And then the second number needs to be a decimal. So you take 24 divided by 23, and that gives us 1.04. So the answer would be 1 to 1.04. So here's a second example. So it says that researchers investigated some characteristics of people from different parts of England. So in the north of England, they selected 200 people and recorded their phenotypes for three different characteristics. So they show lots of information. So the three phenotypes, tongue roller, right handed and straight thumb, the number of people and um, the phenotype produced by the recessive allele. So the number of people and it says calculate the ratio of straight thumb to hitchhiker thumb in this study. So we need to look at the, two, uh, the data. So straight thumb is 142. Hitchhiker thumb is 150. 
is 50, sorry. So that's 142 to 50. We're going to have to simplify that further. So we need to divide 142 with 50, and that gives us 2.84, and then 50 divided by 50, which is 1. So you get the answer 2.84 to 1. Hope you found that useful. Um, please do subscribe for more Doctor Biology videos. I'm going to be looking at some statistical testing soon and also on standard deviations. So please do put your bell alert reminder on and I'll see you soon.